Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I'm your host Mr. Rivers. Today we're opening up box number four of Dominaria. That's right. This is our fourth box in the case. Let's get right into it. We can, we've can. we So far we've opened a Karn and a Mox Amber, but we need more copies of both, preferably. If not, I'd settle for a Teferi now at these points, right? I mean like Teferi seems to have gone up quite a bit. But either way, we're still in need of a few cards here for our collections. So let's see what we can find. Icy Manipulator as our first uncommon. Goblin Barrage. And our rare is a Tempest Jin. And we got a Danatha. Our first uncommon is a Chainer's Torment, Howling Golem, and our rare is a Thran Temporal Gateway, and our legendary creature is a Halar. I think we'll go across and down this time. Maybe I should have taken all the packs out of the box, just maybe give me a little more space here to work with. Spore Swarm, Juggernaut. And a Lich's Mastery as our rare. And we got a Lonely King. Grun, the Lonely King. You know what? I am going to take these packs out of here. Boom. 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 Ah! Ah! Knock all of them over. Ah! Alright. There we go. All right. Let's just rip this apart like a champion here. Eh. What do we got? Fire Fist Adept, Thalid Soothsayer, and our rare is a Mending of Dominaria. The Mending of Dominaria, I should say. And we got a Raph as our... Legendary creature. Whooped. Champion of the Flame. Curator's Ward. And our rare is a Hinterland Harbor. Oh, we got our first foil. Foil Gitu Lavamancer. With a whisper. Whisper. First uncommon is a In Bolas's Clutches, Spore Crown Thalid, and a Helm of the Host as our rare. Very good in limited. And we got a Baird as our uncommon. Skizik, Zelfirin Void, and our first mythic is a Dergaz. Daragaz reincarnated. There he is. For the big boy on campus. And we got a Slin. Slin Voda. Alright. A Dauntless Bodyguard. A Weight of Memory. And the Marari's Conjecture. Or the Marari Conjecture. With a Rona. Rona. Disciple of Grix. Another Spore Swarm, Seal Away, very good uncommon. And our rare here is Banalish Marshall with a Quande. Urza's Tome, Howling Golem, and a Sulphur Falls as our rare with a Tato Tatoiva. Tatiova, Tatiova. I guess that's better, better pronunciation of that. Fire Fist Adept, Damping Sphere, our first Damping Sphere, and a Woodland Cemetery. All right. So we've hit a bunch of these lands, and we got a Valduk. Now, someone mentioned to me um, that people call these lands check lands, not buddy lands. Both terms are correct, as far as I understand. 
Um, I guess it just depends on the dialect in your region, I guess. Buddy lands means that you need the land of the same type, right? Like you need a forest or a swamp. If you have one of those, it comes into play untapped because it's a buddy. You're, you're, it's my buddy land, right? Check land makes sense as well because it checks to see if you have one of those lands before it come, whether it comes in tapped or not. Wizards Lightning, Wild Onslaught, and our rare is a Yogmoth's Vile Offering. Ooh, Slimefoot. There's the Slimefoot man. In Bolas's Clutches, Sage of Latnam, and Oath of Teferi as our oath here. This is going to go into my Super Friends deck, that's for sure. And we got a foil... A uh, sapperling migration with another lonely king. Another lonely king. So, tell me out there, all of you, um, Champion of the Flame, Amarthine Wall, Curator's Ward, and a Marwin, the Nurturer. Um, have you seen any of the Karn Construct tokens? Um, because from what I understand, those are fairly hard to come by. Um, at least my LGS said that they've only opened like a couple of them, if any. Memorial to Unity, Thalid Soothsayer, and a Josu Vess, the Lich Knight. And then someone at the LGS last night at Friday Night Magic was saying that the 2-2 two -two Black Zombie Knight with Menace is also hard to come by. And we got a Tetsuko as our legendary creature. All right. We got the Eldest Reborn, and then we have Triumph of Gerard, and then we have a Sage of Latnam, and we have a Giora, Weatherlight Captain. There it is. Our second Mythic. I was just thinking in my head. I didn't say it out loud. I was thinking in my head. I was like, we only have one Mythic so far. We're halfway through this box. It's going to be a low Mythic count in this box, if that's the case. We're not going to open up that seven mythic box like we did for the LGS. Untamed Cavu. On Sarah's Wings. Precognition Field. And our foil rare is a Verdant Force. Not really the foil rare you want to see. Wait. Oh, Precognition Field is a rare. Derp. De derp. I was like, wait, what? And there's Slimefoot. Okay, that makes way more sense. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, how come there's only a foil rare in this pack? Okay, precognition field we missed. I don't know why I marked it as an uncommon. I have no idea. Um, but anyway, foil verdant force. We got our foil rare from the box. Amethyst wall. Memorial to glory. And our rare here is a Urza's ruinous blast with an Arvad. So I mean, like, we're short on mythic count. Our foil rare wasn't so great. We've hit three of the buddy slash check lands, which is not bad. Knight of Grace, Goblin Barrage, and our rare is a Kamal's Druidic Vow. With a foil, Arcane Flight, and an Ergos the Empty One. Ergos. We have a Memorial to Folly, a Sanctum Spirit, and our rare is a Steel Leaf Champion. Oh, we got a foil legendary creature, which is kind of nice. A foil Danitha. And then a Adeliz. Or Adeliz, or however however you want to pronounce it, I guess, is the idea. Adeliz, Adeliz, who knows? I'm sure someone at Wizards knows. Uh, Icy Manipulator. Memorial to Glory. Spore Crown Thalid. And we got a Tishar, Ancestor's Apostle. Alright. Just over halfway through this box. And we only have two Mythics. I said it's going to be a low Mythic count box. Knight of Grace, Merfolk Trickster, Flame of Keld, and Squee! The Immortal! That's the sound he makes, too, when you throw him with... Uh, the, uh, the commando. The Eldest Reborn. Diligent Excavator. And a Black Blade Reforged. 
So there you go, with a yargle. Alright, where where are we, Mythics? Come on, Karn. Come on, Mox Amber. I know you're in here. Fungal plots. Memorial to war. Jaya's or Jaya's immolating inferno with another raff. Alright. We're down to the last third. Last third of the box. Another Amethyn Wall, Sanctum Spirit, and a Mishra's Self-Replicator. We got a second Foil Rare out of this box. Foil Evra. So there you go. Two Foil Rares in one box. Not bad. Not bad. Both of the Foil Rares kind of mediocre, probably. But like, hey. You know, I'll take two Foil Rares. I will take two Foil Rares. Nature's Spiral. Gaia's Blessing. And a Verdant Force. Speak of the guy, and there he is. And there's our Foil Planes. Woo! Foil Planes. With Arona. Disciple of Grix. Okay, so... We have about, what, 10 packs left, and we're only two Mythics in. We should be getting somewhere around four Mythics, I would think. Wizard's Retort. That's about average from what I've seen. Warcry Phoenix. Oh, well, fine. How are you doing, Teferi? Yeah? Doing well? Okay. Sounds good. I like you. I'm, I'm fine that you showed up. That's fine. Tatova. Or Tatoiva. Or Tatiova. Tatiova. Okay. We got an Elfheim Druid, a Firefist Adept, a Seal Away, and a Torgar, Famine Incarnate. All right, so we've hit three Mythics now. We're, we should see probably one more, I would think. Um, but who knows? It's possible that we won't. Um, Song of Freilies, Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, Settle the Score... And Grand Warlord Radha. I don't know. I think I think we should see probably at least one more mythic. Um, if if the case is is that we don't see the mythic, um, we would hope to see at least another damping sphere. Um, Goblin War Chief, Sorcerer's Wand. Oh, okay. Well, how about Karn? I guess that's fine, right? Karn is fine. So we hit our fourth mythic, and there he is. There he is. Karn and Teferi in the same box seems pretty good. I mean, like, yeah, it seems all right. <laughs> considering it's, you know, considering the low mythic count of this box, I think the mythic, the mythics have been pretty good to us. Sage of Latnam. And our rare is a haphazard bombardment with another Tetsuko. I have to say that that Tetsuko with, like, um, like splashing Tetsuko into a green-black sapperling deck is amazing. It's amazing and limited. Because your opponents are like, why are they making all these 1-1 one -one sapperlings? Who cares? And then you're like, Tetsuko, swing you with all of them for nothing. And they're like, uh... I remove Tetsuko, and you're like, no. Nah, hexproof or whatever. And they're like, no. <laughs> Thorn Elemental. And a an Evera. I've had it happen a couple times where I've played a green-black sapperling deck with Tetsuko and my opponents just, as soon as I play it, they just scoop. They're like, well, you already have like a bajillion sapperlings on the table and I guess I can't block them, so I scoop. Triumph of Gerard, Weight of Memory, Sorcerer's Wand, Foil Charge, and another Mythic. Wow, okay, so we all the Mythics were in the right-hand column of this box. Um, and by that, I mean three of the five Mythics were all on the right-hand side of this box. So that was a Multani, Yavamaya's Avatar, as our Mythic there. <laughs> Man, I was like, low Mythic count, low Mythic count. And then they're like, just hold on. I know you said low Mythic count, but let me just, let me just finish. Oh, okay, Shield of the Realm. Another cl uh, Clifftop Retreat. All right, we hit four of the, the Buddy Lands slash Check Lands. And they're all different. So, you know, it's nice to hit one of each. So, this box is definitely turning around at the end here. Elfheim Druid, Memorial to Glory, 
And our rare is a Dread Shade with a Baird. All right, last pack. Last pack. Why are you being difficult, last pack? Just, just come apart, please. Please. Please, last pack. All right. Time of Ice. Jorah's Familiar. And a Siege Gang Commander. There he is. That Siege Gang guy. So, I mean, um, considering we uh, didn't open up any Mythics at the beginning of this box, um, I feel like it turned around pretty good. We hit four of the uh, Buddy Lands, Check Lands, whatever you want to call them. We hit Karn and Teferi. We hit uh, only one Dampening Sphere, or Damping Sphere. But we hit two Foil Rares. We hit two Foil Rares. An Av Evra and a Verdant Force. So, I mean, like... You know, it's not, not terrible. It's not terrible, that's for sure. Definitely a, a decent box. I would say that this was box was pretty good, um, considering. So, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Don't forget to check out my store, nerdvonastore.ca, for all your single needs, as well as my Patreon, where you can get discount codes to the store, as well as things like grab bags, booster boxes, bundles, all of that good stuff. I, what can I say? I'll see you next time. Come back uh, Monday for Masterful Mondays. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.